Hi, today I want to tell you a little bit about a product we are using, which is called Raz Plus, formerly known as Learning A to Z or Raz Kits. Every student in our district does have access to a Raz Plus license. So if you're a teacher and you know your login, you want to log in uh, as the teacher. You're going to come to this page and we're going to click on Raz Plus right here. You see we have a couple of options on our home page. But we are going to add students, so we're going to click on Manage Students, Roster. And right away we can find an Add Students button. Now this teacher actually has a class still in her account from last year, so we want to replace that with new students. And right here there's a little box we can select, Replace My Current Roster. That will delete out the former students and uh, allow the new students to replace them. We're going to give the student a username. This username is what appears on the screen in the class list, so it could be their first name or a nickname. Uh, I'm going to put new student. Now I need to select their reading level. As we hover over these alphabet letters, you get a little informational box. You can see that this letter A is grade kindergarten and all the way down to Z, which would be fifth grade and up. Um, there are older uh, content levels there. So we're going to place our new student at the fifth grade level and you are required to assign a password. This password can be a photo or text. Um, in this case, since it's an older student, I'm going to give them a password, new student 147. Click outside of there. I've just created a student. I'm going to save that. Okay, so now in my class roster, I should have one student, and his name is new student. Okay, let's take a look at some of the things we can do for our students in RAS+. Plus. Uh, I can come up here to Assignments, and I have a couple of options for assignments. I can create a custom assignment, or I can even assign an assessment. Now, I don't have to do either of these steps. If I do nothing, my students will still have access to a full library of digital books with stories they can listen to, read on their own, and take a quiz. Even if I don't assign it to them, they still have access to that. But I may want to differentiate in my classroom, and that's where we would come here to Assignments and create a custom assignment. So let's go ahead and create a custom assignment. I'm going to give it a name. We're going to select either our entire class or just our one student. Continue to the next step. Here are all of our choices for the custom assignment. You see quite a few resources here. We have leveled books, Spanish translated books, graphic novels, read alouds, vocabulary books, poetry. So take some time and look through these options. I'll just select leveled books for our purposes. So I've selected level books. I need to choose what level I want that student to read at. Maybe they're not at the fifth grade level, so I'm going to drop them down to a third or fourth grade level book. Okay, a quiz is going to be automatically included with each book. I want them to read. I know that they like sports, so I'm going to select the basketball book as well. Okay, I can choose from any of these books to assign to my student. Save the assignment. Success, our assignment has been saved. I can also assign an assessment. Let's take a look at that. We have running records, alphabet assessment, and high frequency words. 
So I'm going to select high frequency word. I'm going to assign it to my new student. And I'm going to choose the top 24 words. I'm going to keep the timer off and assign the assessment. Okay, so now when this student logs in, they're going to be able to see their digital library. Then they're also going to see their custom assignment and their assessment. So I'm going to log in as our student and uh, show you what it looks like from that side. Okay, I hope Miss Eves doesn't mind. I'm using her account to demonstrate here. So right now in this white box in the center, you can see that the, the teacher selected is Miss Eves. If another teacher gets on a device and the student needs to pick a different teacher, they just click pick a different teacher and they would type in that teacher. As you can see, we have one student in our class. For the student to log in, he clicks on his name, his or her name. And now they're going to put in their password. And we can see the home page. This is what the student sees when they log in. So we can see quizzes in the level up that they can take to move up a level, their reading room, and then the flight check. This is going to be the assessment that we assign to them. This is where the student will click to take that assignment. They go to their reading room. Here they're going to see leveled books. They have the option to listen to the book be read to them. They have the option to read it with no sound, and then they would have the option to take a quiz. After they have read and listened to the book, they have the option to take the quiz. We can see the student also has options if they're not interested in those books. They can select from Spanish books, alphabet books, poetry, uh, vocabulary, all the resource choices there. Okay, I'm logged back in as the teacher. I wanted to show you how you can print um, username and password cards for your students. Again, you just go to your Manage Students, go to Roster, and over here we see Docs for Home. We select that. We get the choice here to create personalized student login cards. You also have letters to parents um, in multiple languages. When I click Personalized Student Login Cards, it actually downloads to my computer. And so once it downloaded to my computer, I clicked on the file to open it up, and you can see that I have a student username password card that I can cut apart. Um, if we had more students, this would be full um, with the class list. You could cut them apart, laminate them, send them home for parents to use. Um, it's just a nice resource. The kids can use RAS Plus at home, at school, um, and at any time. So those were just some quick basics for RAS Plus. You also have uh, reports. There are teacher resources, interactive whiteboard resources. Um, and to access those, let's take a quick look here. You can see the teacher corner. You can select the teacher corner. We have technology, helpful tools. There's even a video library. Um, those are tutorials, how to get students started, training for you to learn how to use the RAS Plus. And jumping one more time to one more spot, if you select reports, you will get uh, a class activity overview and you can also see a dashboard of your students use um, their skills their reading levels who's listening who's reading who's taking quizzes again we've just uh, touched the tip of the iceberg for all the good things I'm hoping to offer a training in the future um, about RAS kids any questions let us know thank you